I guess this FTMO challenge was passed. Passed out. Too soon? Hi there, it's nice to have you back on the channel. As we promised when we started the channel, we will cover our ups and downs regarding our day trading and today is one of those days when I have to get humble and overview how I lost my first 10k FTMO funding. Let's see the account metrics. So uh, this is the account metrics, nothing much to see here, it really pains me to show you this, but uh, again it's part of my learning process. So uh, there were two trades taken on gold and the one on Bitcoin, let's cover the ones taken on gold first. I saw this uptrend and uh, was uh, quite eager to take my first trade as an FTMO funded trader. And uh, I FOMO'd a bit here, I entered a bit early on uh, this uh, 21 EMA retest. And uh, as you can see, the trade got taken out on this level, which would have been the level for my legitimate entry. So uh, I opened another trade on this level, which in my opinion was a legitimate open. I'm not quite uh, fond of this first trade. I already marked it as, as FOMO. And uh, this one actually got taken out quite, uh, quite quickly. I didn't expect this for a Friday evening, but that's life. And uh, now let's move to the Bitcoin, the trade that I took on Bitcoin, which is this one. This is basically the trade that uh, blew my account. So what I saw here was uh, this descending that ended in quite an impulse to the upside. And uh, I decided that once it didn't form a lower low anymore right here and this level got rejected twice. I decided to enter a long trade here and uh, to leave it overnight. That's uh, that's why I had a bigger risk uh, percentage here. Also provided that if uh, one o'clock local time here passed, the daily stop loss limit would have been reset to 500 again. But uh, as uh, luck would have it, uh, this uh, position got taken out by this week at uh, 25 past 12, I think. And... Uh, what I found uh, quite uh, curious is this uh, this swap here, but anyway, that's just uh, that's just a collateral effect. I mean, my trade was bad, and uh, the thing that I took this trade after I already had minus almost three percent was kind of foolish on my part. Again, I was hoping that the day would pass and the maximum stop loss, maximum daily loss limit, sorry, would be resetted, but that wasn't the case so uh, these were the trades now let's go back to uh, some important aspects the first thing that i have to say is that trading a funded account is way different from tra trading in the challenge and the verification i felt this change on my mindset and i wanted to trade now and make some profits right away even if it was friday evening and i had quite a long week my focus changed from gaining percents and adding them up in order to make 10 or 5 to actually making real money. I thought I had this figured out prior to starting, but it turns out that it wasn't quite true. As a lesson learned here, I wrote a letter to myself in order to read it when I will be starting my next funded account. The letter is personal, but it mostly covers the major topics that are presented in this video that you are watching. So, we are in this game to make money. The thing is that there is a fine line between consistency and the casino mindset. My downfall was that I wanted to pull off a quick hit and run and then wait for my share of the take. As a takeaway from this, I gained the extra confirmation that I have to figure out and stick to a clear daily drawdown and stop trading right away if things don't go my way in that day. Hmm, wait a minute. Set a standard risk range. I use a 0.5 to 2%, just like apples. Your could, yours could be bigger or smaller. The size doesn't matter that much if you know how to properly use it. That guy's really wise. Lastly, I didn't really enjoy any of the trades that I took and felt like checking them on a constant basis to see where I stand. I didn't do this during the challenge or the verification and it feels like we are honing in on a huge mindset flaw on my part. That 
usually I have to attend right away. Ask yourself on a deep level if you would have made the same mistakes that I did. I say this on the deep level because if I asked myself the same questions a few days ago, I think I would have found them quite funny and unreal. Do this check and build and fortify your mindset because you will need it later on. And lastly, stay humble. Backtest and refine your base strategy every day. I didn't do this as much as I used to after passing the verification and my confidence was way, way high going into this funded account. I started slacking and thought I had it all figured out and it was only a matter of time before achieving my goals. Well, no. This is the most important lesson learned and I left it last because if you watched it all the way to this point, you earned it. Don't be result oriented and have the same worth ethic if you are up 20% in a month or if you are down five. Tweak and refine your strategy and most importantly, work on yourself as a person. Read it healthy and fuel that mind because trading is quite a demanding activity. Keep that confidence and self-esteem in check at all times and don't let it soar nor sink. Balance is key. So having said this, I wish you guys an amazing weekend and uh, as usual, happy trading. Bye-bye.